Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to talk about a story about a young female rapper that was killed about a week ago. And I had never heard of her before this, but the more I looked into her situation, into her case, the more I became super disturbed by everything I was finding out about her online, everything I was researching. So if you guys don't know, back on July 13th, this took place in Oakland, California, and there was a young female rapper named Tan the God, and basically she was hired by a black business owner um, this owner had a beauty supply store and they had been shut down for a while, but they were getting ready to do a re-grand opening. And being that Tan the God is an Oakland native, they decided to have her, you know, put on a meet and greet, bring out her friends, bring out the community and things like that. And so Tan the God showed up. She was super happy. She posted pictures there at the venue. Her grandmother was there with her as well. But unfortunately for Tan, she had no idea that that was going to be the last time that she would ever post on her social media page again. We here. I got Granny in the cut. No way with it. We outside, man. Y'all better come pull up. Go. Okay, Granny, don't play with the speed. Don't play. Don't play with it. Okay, yeah. Big boy, yeah. Beat him. We just confirmed. I pinned the motherfucker. Beat him. Okay, that's just what it is. Don't want to come fucking shot. You got everything you need. You got everything you need. Y'all come get your shit, man. It's Water serious out here. She said it's, it's gonna be sti yeah. there. That's what she said. Hey, they having a the tenathon. Yeah. Okay, y'all better fucking come, man. Free wig? Come on, open the door. Yeah, that's where the fuck we at. Yeah, yeah. 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 Tan the God's real name was Aliana Green and she was 27 years old. Now her backstory is really sad and disturbing but what happened is that she met a young man named Lamar back when she was about 17 years old and Lamar was a little bit older than her and they had been dating for several years off and on but she was in a very abusive toxic relationship. Um, and she had stated in prior interviews that Lamar was putting hands on her. And at one point, it got really bad, really physical. And he threatened to kill her. He threatened to kill her family. And so she decided to take matters into her own hands. Um, they started fighting again. And she ended up killing him in a domestic violence dispute. So she ended up taking his life. Um, she was locked up back in 2020. And so she was in jail. There's a lot of stuff going on with COVID and things like that. But eventually the courts found her innocent and they considered it self-defense. So she got out a few years later and they had put her into witness protection. And instead of her going into witness protection and trying to start her life anew, she decided to get into rapping. She had been rapping off and on for a while, but she decided to take it, you know, full time. And unfortunately, nowadays, in order for you to stand out as a rapper, you got to have all types of antics. You got to do things to go viral. We had 6 9 who was out here wilding out and claiming to be a gangbanger and running with bloods. We had Sexy Red out here, you know, walking around with guns and, you know, in her first song. So a lot of people are doing this to get on. We had the whole situation in Jacksonville with Julio Fulio and Young and Asen, where they were going around dissing each other's dead ops. 
So Aliana Green, aka Tan the God, decided to kind of go that route. Instead of her just solely focusing on her rhymes, she wanted to get into dissing her op. And who was her op? Her op was her ex-boyfriend, Lamar. So she first went viral about a year ago because she dropped a song called Ex Woodpack, where she was basically smoking on her ex-boyfriend. And she has a picture of him and um, his head is a backwood. It's a really disturbing picture, it says ex Woodpack. And so she went viral because of that. So when she saw the attention that she was getting from this, um, she dropped this song. People were really shocked that she was going in on her ex. Then she started going on a string of interviews where she was dissing him, um, telling the family to run up. She was doing a lot of talking. And for whatever reason, the people around her, they didn't tell her to stop. They were encouraging this. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out these videos right here. You should have never died. <laughs> you should have you never, you should have never played with me because then I got to take it to the third degree. You know, like, so when I bring, when I look at this little tune, Stony Tone, I be like, man, it's like, it's crazy. So September 23rd is like the day I drop pond them top, you know what I'm saying? So I had to put that on there. Well, not really. Really, it's three years ago I dropped pond them top. This like the anniversary, and they it, I just happened to have court on this. Everything just <laughs> came together. So I got this to be extra fucking childish, making families mad. And oh well, because they ain't gonna do shit about it. Making families mad. And oh well, because they ain't gonna do shit about it. Smoking on that X wood pack. Oh yeah, you know it. Matter of fact, I got to smoke on this dead motherfucker as we speak. Hold up. <laughs> You're the first person to talk about it with okay. me too. I'll take you. This is the first the time I'm breaking those kind of. Well, breaking we'll talk. We'll talk about some serious stuff for a second. Uh, <laughs> was it like an abusive relationship or something? Did it get to the point where like you had no choice? Yeah, it's like you ain't got no choice, like. Sometimes you really don't have a choice. Like, I know females that never had a choice. And they was just, dude, popping up and threatening the whole family. And, mm. you know, and you, you know where people live. And I think about it. I'm like, you know where my loved ones live? You got to go. <laughs> you you got to go. Especially if you got the audacity to threaten them. What? You threatening my people? Everybody go die. Oh, is we? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna show you what it bees like. <laughs> That's the trippy part I always see. Like, if somebody attempts, or has an attempt on your life one time, but you love that person, it's you like get, you never you know when, when's the next time it could happen. You always like, I always trip out about that. You Even gotta get them. Or they go get you. Right? What's your gun sound like, bro? <laughs> hey, what's your gun sound like, bro? <laughs> Allie, what y'all shit here for? <laughs> if I see like, boom, 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 boom. You guys just saw those videos, and the one where she's sitting next to the tombstone is just really disturbing. You know, she's saying, here lies my ex. Um, you know, just saying a lot of stuff that's just like, who is helping this girl? Where is the media training? Like, as I'm watching this, I'm like, this cannot end well. And I see why it didn't end well. You know, then she made another song where she was dissing him and she had a guy playing her ex-boyfriend with a clown mask on showing that he was dead. So y'all go ahead and check this out. Bitch ain't think she had the one up, kissing on a nigga who ain't my best friend. You've been sentenced to seven years for smoking on your ex and having these bitches to turn up. Brand new car, been a rubbish, crack a stolen. I be smoking on my ex and it's the pack that got me choking. So after dissing him for over a year, obviously people in his family must have felt the way. Um, she was initially in protective custody. The police had her in witness protection because from what I hear, the ex-boyfriend was part of a street gang as well, but she chose to leave witness protection and go and help promote this black business. So as she gets there, you see some guys in the video, they have on black hoodies, like, you know, Pooh Shiesty hoodies with like the ski mask. You also see some guy in like a white hoodie and he's walking super aggressive. He's going into the store. And eventually, a bunch of guys go into the store, and she starts arguing with these men. 
with the ski mask on and he bumped into one of them. And when he walked inside that store, that's when the shooting happened. The shooter is the one that had on the white hoodie. But my thing is, these guys that's dressed in all black with ski masks on, what was they there for? Why did they have ski masks on? Why did they look like they was her shooters or her security? Was it just the look? Because if they weren't scrapped, if they weren't there to protect her, y'all could get y'all overly tough ass on somewhat. And so she's arguing with them. She's trying to walk out the store like, you know, whatever. And at that point, one of the guys, they just start shooting. And they're mainly aiming for her. Um, one of the witnesses said clearly those shots were at her. One of the bullets ended up ricocheting and shooting somebody else like in the foot or the leg. But the majority of the shots were for Tan the God. So that was definitely payback and retribution for all the things that she had been saying and putting online, unfortunately. Shot up. Somebody just had to fucking do a shooting up here at fucking... A beauty supply grand fucking opening. Now my whole fucking shit is shot up. It's a good thing. Thank you, Gail. A local female rapper was killed in a shooting in Oakland. This was Saturday uh, during the grand opening of a beauty store. Another person was injured. Police are still trying to find the shooter. Cronforce Sarah Stinson has that story. <laughs> Family and friends gathered outside Glamour Beauty Supply in Oakland Sunday, many in tears as they paid tribute to local female rapper and entrepreneur Tandagod. They confirmed to Cron 4. A local female rapper was killed in a shooting in Oakland. This was Saturday uh, during the grand opening of a beauty store. Another person was injured. Police are still trying to find the shooter. Cronforce Sarah Stinson has that story. <laughs> Family and friends gathered outside Glamour Beauty Supply in Oakland Sunday, many in tears as they paid tribute to local female rapper and entrepreneur Tandagod. They confirmed to Cron 4 she was shot and killed at a grand opening event for the beauty store Saturday. Tan posted on Instagram just before the shooting. Here, I got granny in a cut, no way with it. She also promoted the event a week before, saying she would be at Glamour Beauty for a meet and greet. Shots rang out at the strip mall on 40th Street and Telegraph Avenue around 5 p.m. People ran into this donut shop to take cover. I heard some shooting. I thought it was part of like their music. Or... A man who works there who does not want to be identified described the chaotic scene. I just saw like two or three people start running into my store and like, you know, they're shooting, they're shooting. And people started pulling out of the parking lot and people were just running around. So, and as soon as I stepped outside, the cops were pretty much already here. Oakland police say when they arrived, paramedics found one gunshot victim who died at the hospital. Another gunshot victim arrived at a nearby hospital hospital sometime later. Police say that person is expected to be okay. They're still working to identify the shooter. No arrests have been made. A man who works at a Korean restaurant nearby witnessed the shooting. Just this guy with the hoodie came by and started shooting. And that was it. And he just, just ran away. And the, the police came. Bay Area rapper and philanthropist Mr. Fab posted about the shooting, saying he was booked to be at the same event, but, quote, God had different plans. He also posted, saying he would always remember Tan as a hustling go-getter with a world of ambition, drive, and courage. I'm Sarah Stinson reporting in Oakland, Cron 4 News. This is an up-and-coming Oakland rapper, and she was killed over the weekend. It happened at the grand opening of a local beauty supply store on Oakland's north side. NBC's Valina Jones talked to witnesses and friends of the rapper about what happened. Roses now lay on a throne at Glamour Beauty Supply in honor of the young Oakland rapper Tan DeGod, or Tan, whose real name is Aliana Green, killed after a meet and greet during the grand opening of Glamour Beauty Supply. Just connection vibes, just family vibes, 
It's peaceful and people just showing off their talents and just being themselves. The owner tells NBC Bay Area he invited a local vendors, artists, and a chef to the opening in hopes of creating a safe family community building event. Rakim, who goes by Haspain, was one of the artists invited to perform. Witnesses say a group of around six men with masks on approached the rapper outside the store and began arguing. Video of the scene shows people ducking for cover. Shots went through the window and, you know, I was ducking behind the chairs in a donut shop. They were just doing party and he just stopped by and started shooting. Green was shot and died a short time later at the hospital. According to the owner, the event ended more than an hour before the shooting. Ernest Holloway, better known as Unc, is a longtime friend of Green and worked with her on this music video. She was fiery. Like she had... She had a different spirit, you know what I'm saying? When she walked in, the party got started, you know what I'm saying? She was full of energy, full of life, and full of love. Green was also an entrepreneur and recently opened up an Airbnb in Florida. Holloway explains she was only in town visiting and he had plans to meet her I'm at the like, event. I'm die for Yo, because I know if I'd have been president, I could have made sure, I could have took precautions to make sure it wouldn't have got that far. Bay Area rapper Mr. Fab paid his respects on social media, adding he was also booked to be at the same event, but didn't attend. Witnesses say another victim was shot in the leg. That person is in stable condition. No word on any suspect descriptions. Tonight, as police continue to investigate, Holloway hopes Tan is remembered for her caring spirit. I mean, and right now, Oakland, we like crying out, you know what I mean? It's like, it's just death after death after death. And it's like, we need to find a way to get a hold to trying to at least um, put a stop. In All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. So this entire situation is really disturbing. Now, what I found very interesting is that on her Instagram page, she has the word manifest on there. And not to get super metaphysical or spiritual, but manifest is a very, very powerful word. For you guys who don't understand, when you say words like manifest, it means to bring something to existence through thoughts, feelings, or beliefs. And if you think something and speak it long enough, it can and will eventually manifest. And I think because she spoke so much about her ex-boyfriend's death and how she just didn't care and she was smoking on her ex pack and she talked about death in such a flippant way. Spirits have a way of coming back with retribution and vengeance. And I think she really spoke all of this negativity over her life into existence. Which is sad because Tan, like when I listen to her music, she's very talented. You know what I'm saying? She definitely had bars. She could sing. She could rap. Super talented. But unfortunately, she was running behind a gimmick and that gimmick got her killed. The same way with Julio Fulio, you know, the same way with all these young guys who are sitting here talking about their ops and, you know, mocking them. All of this is just dark, demonic, low vibrational energy. And I don't care who gets mad. I'm just keeping it real. It really is. And it's sad that with all the talent that this young woman had, this is what the people around her were co-signing. She even on her Instagram page posted a video of this white lady and she's talking about how good of a rapper she is and she's willing to help her. And, you know, the glee that this white woman has from this young black girl's music where she's talking about shooting people and the ops and her ex-boyfriend and laughing at a death. It's like, who were the people around her letting her know that this is not okay and this could probably come back to bite you in a horrible way? I don't feel like she had the right people around her. I got excited last night. I was talking to a female rapper from Oakland. She is about to put out an EP. Ooh. Can you say her name? Tan. Okay. And she's adorable. She's charismatic. She's like everything that you want in an artist, right? And she was outlining to me exactly the five songs that she's going to put on her EP. And mm. she had thought it through. And it's a marketing plan. Like she came to me with everything. And I'm like, 
this is awesome. And I'm thinking to myself, please have the money, please have the money, please. And then the last thing she mentioned was, and I have the money to do this. And I got so, I got so excited because not only is she willing to put in the work, but she's already started filming all the videos that tell the story. Can I clarify? I'm not trying to speak for you, but please have the money not to pay you, but to execute your vision. Yes. Okay. So let's say that it's because y'all think that we're the ones stopping you from being successful. No, no. You don't have enough money to pay me. This wasn't if about I help hiring you, me. This was you should about have the money to help yourself. Yes. This was about her doing Great. this hey. herself. This was about her having a plan, and all she's missing is who, like who to who spend to, it with, who to spend it with. And I'm happy to give her that You're because have she's to got spend a whole some money plan. To make some money. Yes. Manifesting goes along with the power of the tongue, and I always talk about that on this channel. And what a lot of people don't realize is that when you go about manifesting things and speaking things out, words have immense power. Words have the power to heal, to help. Words also have the ability to influence not only ourselves, but those around us. So we need to understand that the words that we speak can inspire, motivate, and create positive outcomes. But also when you speak negative words and when you're flipping about death, those words can also come back, okay? Words can also hinder, hurt, and bring negative consequences. And people need to realize that. And you know, when you're making music, it's not just about making music. Music literally penetrates the soul, okay? Music can take you to places far away without you ever leaving your physical body. It can take your mind to different places. And when you're putting out low vibrational music like this, it starts to take a toll on you. It starts to attract dark energy and dark forces around you. You know, so I just feel really bad that she thought that this was how she could blow up and this was the only way that she could make an impact on the world. Like I said, the girl is very talented, she's beautiful, and it's really sad that this is the route that she chose to take. The power of the tongue can literally shape your destiny, so we need to learn to use it wisely. And like I said, it's really sad that nobody pulled this young woman to the side and let her know that this is not okay and this can really come back to harm you. So. This entire situation with Tan the God is extremely disturbing and sad, but I hope that young people learn from this and even the Julio Fulio situation as well and understand that the energy that you put out there is the energy that can come back to you and people don't care. They don't care if you're young, old, if you're male or female. Treat people how you want to be treated. And I am in no way, you know what I'm saying, making excuses for her going through domestic violence and, you know, things like that because domestic violence is wrong. But I think that the fact that she got away with it, it was self-defense, she should have just been grateful with that, that she wasn't doing time behind that and use that to motivate and inspire. Maybe rap to young girls about getting out of those situations and seeking help and you know, letting young girls know like, hey, if a guy is acting toxic towards you or putting hands on you, that's not okay. I think that would have been better received than going around talking about your smoking on an ex pack and making fun of your ex-boyfriend that you took out. Because at the end of the day, regardless of how she feels about him or anybody else feels about him, the man still had family and friends and people who cared about him, obviously, because they went to go seek revenge on his behalf. So the whole situation is really, really sad. But like I said, I really want young people to learn from this and understand that all that low vibrational rap, all the rapping about ops and killing people, it not only takes a toll on you mentally, but also physically and spiritually as well. So with that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Take care of yourselves and have a good day. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.